can show green, yellow, red, and you can also show if it's complete or not. By using the blank, or I use a none, then it is incomplete. Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Hess, and today I wanted to go over maybe red, yellow, greens, check boxes, kind of the health of our project management app. We've been working on this app for a while, and, and this was an idea that I used on another app. Check boxes, do they have to be true, false values? Maybe they're not true, false values. Maybe they are identified by different colors, like a red, yellow, or green, and that displays the checkbox. So I'm gonna start off by creating a couple new columns. I'm gonna do cost health, and I'm gonna choose a choice field. Now, I already created this new choice. Let me go ahead and show you. I created a new choice, and I called it red, yellow, green, or none. And so what it is is green, yellow, red, and then none. I guess you could put null there if you wanted to. And that is what I created. So now I'm going to sync my choice with that uh, RYGN. And this is Dataverse for Teams. This is how you create a, a choice field in Dataverse for Teams. So I have a new column called Cost Health. And then let's do one more for Schedule Health. So a new column, Schedule Health. And it's going to be a choice field. And since we've already created that choice, we can just come in here and sync with choice and click it again and choose the RYGN. All right, so I have two new columns here, cost health and schedule health, and we could probably do more. We could do work health. Um, you know, it depends on what you wanna do for your project management app. But I'm just gonna start with these two for now. Okay, and then I did this in my last video. I set up these containers, I set up this gallery. Um, I can't do it again on this video. If you want to see how I set up my galleries, you can watch my last video. I will put that in the description in YouTube of this video. So I'm just gonna set up my gallery. Okay, so I have my column set up. I have title, cost health, schedule health. Those are my two new columns. And I have project health uh, here on the far side. So now I'm gonna create, uh, I guess, some check boxes. I'm gonna insert some check boxes. Okay, so I have three check boxes now in my gallery. We can see I can check them or I can not check them. And I can check them however I'd like. Now, what I'd like to do is right now, most people think check boxes are yes, no, true value. But my column in Dataverse was not a Boolean field. It was not a yes or no. There were choices, red, yellow, green, or none. Now I'm gonna fill out the data. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. We're gonna actually calculate this later on. But for right now, I'm just putting some data in there so we can see it in our table. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna manipulate the checkbox value. So checked, we're looking for checked, here it is. So now this is very different if you use Dataverse or Dataverse for Teams as your backend. If you do this with uh, SharePoint or Excel, it's different, it's probably easier. But think about this, we have a checkbox, we want to make it red, yellow, or green, and we wanna make it checked. In order to make it checked, I, I want to say, if it's equal to none, then it's not checked. But if it's equal to green, yellow, or red, then it is checked. So what I'm gonna say is if this item dot uh, cost health is equal to, now this is where it's weird. We have to use what we chose in options set. I'll show you again. So R, Y, G, N, that's what we named our options. Dot, if it's equal to none, then it's false else it's true. So you can see now, we can see only the ones where it was none is it unchecked. And let me show you that field again. So when we go into edit data, and this is just for Dataverse, it may drive you crazy a little bit, and maybe you wanna work on a naming structure. But right here, it's kinda of grayed out right now, but sync with this choice. It's R, Y, G, N. That's how we're identifying the choice value. So maybe, um, I think Shane Young did it a different way. He told you to always name it options, but it doesn't make sense when you have multiple columns that use that, uh, that choice. So I'm just gonna call it red, yellow, green, none. I like that, I like that, I got that memorized. 
maybe you have a different way uh, of naming things. So for schedule health, I'm gonna do the same thing, checked. I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna go to checked over here. I'm gonna paste it in. <clears throat> Instead of cost health, I'm gonna do schedule health. Okay, and then project health, I'm gonna leave it as it is for now. Now in the checkbox, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the, I believe it's right here on the right side, Let's see if I change the color. That's the color I want. So this is called check, checkbox fill. Check checkbox background fill. I guess that's it right here. So let's change this to a one. Okay, so it changed to a black. Zero, 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 one is, is black. So now what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to say if this item if this item dot cost health is equal to RYGN dot green, then we're going to say it's green. We could actually write in the word green. Maybe that's um, what we want to, we'll just make it simple. We'll write in the word green. And it, it, I guess it's color dot green, color dot green. Okay, now if and we're going to nest our ifs in here we could do a switch if we wanted to maybe we'll go into both of those if this item dot cost health equals rygn dot red then color dot red else it's yellow else it's color dot yellow and then we're going to need our parentheses correct. So there we go. So I know that uh, it seems really easy to type. It's actually, um, I don't know, it's just habit what I've, I've done before. But what I'm saying is if, let's see if we can indent this correctly so we can understand it. So if it is green, then the color is green else or, or this is actually else if that's kind of you know what i get from my coding language then if it's red then it's red if it's not green or red then it's yellow so now we've color coded our check boxes i love that i really like that so now i'm going to do the same thing on my schedule health background fill except for this time we're going to use schedule health So there we go. So that is going to match up exactly with my data that I filled in in Dataverse. Now, in the end, what I want is I want this to be calculated. So that's why when we patch our statement, we're going to patch uh, based off baseline cost and we'll compare it to our actual cost and then we'll write in the field if it's red, yellow, or green. So I'm actually going to remove the text here. I don't like the text. I don't need it to say checkbox. I just want the checkbox there. So now we're going to change these to read only also. So each one of these are going to be read only. So display mode is view. Okay. So it's view only. So we can't actually check these. I like that. Finally, project health is going to be, if it's checked, we're going to say if cost this item dot cost health uh, is equal to R Y G N dot none or this item dot uh, schedule health is equal to R Y G N dot none then it's false else is true Okay, so now it's only checked if both cost health and schedule health are complete. So now let's work on our coloring. So this is uh, this one. This one we're going to make calculated. So for the project health, let me walk you through this one. If the schedule health or the cost health is red, and the orders of this if statement does matter, there's different ways you can do this. Maybe this way is pretty confusing, but let me try and break it down. If either is red, and this is an or statement, I could write the word or, 
or I can have the double brackets. Both of those mean or. If it equals red, then the color is red. Else, this is actually else right here. So if I were to, let's see, else, that's actually else. If either is yellow, either the schedule health or the cost health is yellow, then the color is yellow. If nothing is red or yellow, finally it becomes green. So that matches up with our data here. So we have, these are all green, so everything's green, red and a blank, but it's not checked at all because we don't have a schedule health yet. Green, 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 both are yellow. Now this one, if it's uh, red and a green, but one of them is red, it's red. So that's how that works. The main purpose of this video was to show you that checkboxes can be more than just a Boolean value. You can show green, yellow, red, and you can also show if it's complete or not by using the blank or I use a none, then it is incomplete. That's just another thing I wanted to show you. This comes from a Harvard Business Review. I just found this article online and it goes into green, yellow, red. You know, make priorities clear with green, yellow, red. Perhaps the greatest value of green, yellow, red management is it allows you to do exception-based management. You know, as humans, we focus, you know, on what makes green, yellow, red. So maybe it's kind of obvious that these colors really um, work for you, but it's, it's a really nice way to display data really quickly to maybe your C-class level people. So your project managers, your PMAs, or your, your CEOs, if they can look at your projects and see cost health, schedule health, project health very quickly, and they can see red, yellow, greens, this is what they want. But being able to display all the data really quickly with just a red, yellow, green, our eyes, our, our brain, it works that way. And we can focus at hand of which projects maybe that we need to focus on. We can see all of these projects are green or incomplete or yellow, but we know right here, this DocuSign rollout to on-premise, it's in trouble. Red does not mean bad. Red just means we need to improve. And so we can now focus on this project because the health is gone bad. Maybe the, the cost is over. So that's the idea of using red, yellow, greens in project management. And I know it's a very simple concept, but using these checkboxes in this way, instead of just doing a yes or no Boolean value, we can add color to it. This is a really neat idea. I feel like it can improve any project management app that you create. And we're going to try and implement this more into our project management app that we've been working on. So if you've been watching all my videos, I'm going to miss next week, but I'll be back the next week and we'll keep working on this app. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.